Introducing first to my right from Austin, Texas. Somebody's farewell, probably Paul Crockett, alongside Powerbomb TV independent champion, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. And this was one of the most talked about events that happened at All In when Jordan Grace eliminated Brian Cage from the Battle Royal. And here they are, one on one tonight. Yeah, I guess that surprised a lot of people that may have been seeing Jordan Grace for the first time, but it didn't surprise me. No. And Me I'm either. sure it didn't surprise a lot of people here at Beyond Wrestling because we've seen exactly what she can do. But here she's looking to really prove it and prove to everybody that it was not a fluke when she eliminated Brian Cage, put him away in singles competition here tonight. Up and over, sunset flip attempt. Cage misses with his full body weight. Crucifix, no. Back to his feet. Grace followed. Wow. Misses the Whoa. clothesline, crucifix attempt, no. Oh. And how about a forearm? And another, Cage brushing both off. Shaking those off. Grace looking for the suplex, no. Brian Cage flattens Jordan Grace. She was really bringing it to him though early on there. Absolutely. I'm surprised she got some of those pinning combinations off. I'm impressed because somebody with the physique of Brian Cage, I mean, he's just legitimately difficult to pin. Yes. You know, that, that's an advantage in itself. It's just that he's just a, so, he's like a square. He's like a solid, like, or a little more like a triangle. Yeah. And, and he's really hard to just pin because he doesn't fold up the same way that somebody with a, you know, a smaller physique would. And uh, she was able to get a couple of cradles on him there. Big opportunity here for Grace, of course as she runs into a wall. You want to talk about a shape. Yeah, maybe reassess the game plan after that one. Just bouncing right off the uh, chest of Brian Cage. Big opportunity for Grace Brian Cage, the current Impact whoa, 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 Wrestling whoa, whoa, whoa. X Division champion. And he is well-traveled all around the world, has done tours with Noah. Challenge for the GHC Heavyweight Championship. So he is a guy who has been in some monumental spots. Oh yeah, I mean, X-Division champion. I mean, look at that lineage. That's serious stuff right there. Yeah. Speaking of championships, I mean, this contest I've got my eyes on extra close because after retaining the independent championship tonight, Jordan Grace is my next challenger. Absolutely, in five just a couple days, days away yeah. at Nova Pro, five days from when we record this, of course. This is gonna be video on demand on Powerbomb TV, but you against Jordan for that championship for Nova Pro will be on Powerbomb TV. And right now you get to scout your opponent. That's right. And no matter the outcome of this match, that title defense will go on. But whoa, whoa, Jordan Grace, I'm sure she's not looking ahead, but she doesn't want to go into that title match on a loss. No. And not only does Brian Cage toss Jordan Grace to the mat like a sack of potatoes, he also gets a nice bicep pump there. His and that's important to him, yeah, yes. Right. His priorities are maybe different than yours or mine. Mm. I mean, now, you don't get to look like that without sneaking in a couple workouts where you might not think to. Maybe a couple a day as Brian Cage 
starts to grind Jordan Grace, trying to take away the oxygen. Yeah, he's just laying that his whole body weight on her carotid arteries, which is that's not a position you want to be in. Jawbreaker, Jordan Grace finds her way out of it, and now she's firing her way back into this contest. Tries the body slam, doesn't get it, and is met with one of her own. Yeah, yeah but if we're talking strikes connected, Jordan Grace is way ahead here. If there was a scorecard, you are right, she has landed more, but if I am judging this, it's, it might be 10-8 cage right now. Yeah. Clover Leaf sending the spine of Jordan Grace in the wrong direction. And that is a lot of weight to be on anyone's back. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary position to be in. I mean, a cloverleaf is one thing. That's some technical skill being shown, but when they've got that kind of power behind it to really pull on that hold, you got to get to that rope. And Jordan in a lot of pain here, a lot of hurt. And this may be the wrong opponent for just five days out from such a big title match with you, Hot Sauce. But that's why she has gotten to where she is now, because she doesn't back down from any challenge. Yeah, no shortcuts for sure for Jordan Grace. And Brian Cage looks like he's enjoying himself at this point. Yep. But he has to be careful. He has to keep his eyes open, because Jordan Grace can bounce back in a second. But the only way she's bouncing is to the mat after that. Yeah, he also got a, oh, a cover here. And Jordan Smart. Good ring positioning there, getting that foot right on the rope. You gotta wonder about the cardio of these two athletes as well. I know Jordan Grace uh, likes to train the high intensity style and really you know, get, the, get her wind up. And when you're carrying around the amount of muscle that Brian Cage is, it's just gonna be you know, a natural occurrence that your cardio may not be up to the par of somebody whose focus is more on that type of training. And here she is firing back, sending Cage reeling, but he answers in emphatic fashion with a chop that sends her down. And there's another one for her trouble. Yep, and starting to, starting to go to the strikes now is Cage. Starting to dig a little deeper into the playbook. Open up that offense a little bit. And now is Cage going to go up top and end this in a very quick fashion. Gonna get some of his stuff in. Oh, but Tried the moonsault, but missed. Yeah, too much too soon on that one. Oof. And when Jordan saw it opening, Brian Cage just closed it with his boot. Yep. Veteran move there. He knew he missed the moonsault. Took a little bit out of him, but he knew he, he had to stay on top in this match. And Brian Cage getting this crowd behind him. Builds up ahead of steam, but runs into a boot and goes shoulder first into the post. And those patented double knees and the follow up running back elbow and thick mama pup is back in it. She's looking for the Vader bomb here, right to the second. Ooh. And again, that opening was missed. She wasn't able to spot that the cage is moving out of the way. Forearm to the back. Cage up top like a cat gets out. Oh! The hang time that Jordan got as Cage muscled her. That's a true sign of power when you can throw a release German suplex and you hit the mat before your opponent. That defied gravity. Right. And just when Jordan Grace thinks she is right back in it, Cage just muscles her back down. There's a reason why he is so successful all over the world, because he can do things like that. And this crowd's oh. stunned by what they just saw. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all, I'm kind of stunned. Uh-oh, Cage setting Jordan Grace up for something huge. Going up top, maybe a top rope stalling suplex, but Grace able to fight off, clawing yeah, and scratching good, and pounding away. That's what it's gonna take, it's just pure fire. As she flips down. Cage holds on, but she hit it. She hit the power bomb. 
And she sends Cage over the top again. Deja vu. And the big dive takes Cage down. Jordan Grace back in this one, Hot Sauce. Yeah, that was a huge risk. It's always a really big risk when you go to, to the air against such a strong opponent. Somebody that could, if they see you coming, catch you and slam you down. But it paid off for Jordan. Right now, she's looking for the Vader bomb. She hits it. That's it. it. No. There's a reason he is known as the machine. It's because it is not easy to put him down. Yeah, Jordan has put away some of the toughest of the tough with that Vader bomb. She has beaten Filthy Tom Lawler with it for the Black Label Pro Championship. But Brian Cage able to kick out. She hit it clean too, but she's looking for the bear hug here. And she has been a big proponent of that bear hug and has finished off quite a few opponents recently with it. But Cage muscles out. And now he's going with straight power. What a slam. And Grace having to use her neck muscles to bridge out. That's why they say if you're going to be a wrestler, get a strong <laughs> neck hot sauce. Yeah, that's step number one. Brian Cage doesn't always make frequent appearances here and beyond, but when he does, it's memorable. And this is this is right up there with all of them. As Grace with the Huracan Rana sends Cage flying into the corner. Yeah, Cage was looking for that buckle power bomb, no doubt to set up some insane combo. But Grace, Gorilla slams him. The Gorilla slam, and what is she gonna follow it up with? Oh my. Oh. Going for that wheelbarrow, perhaps. Wow. Clubbing forearms. She made some great connections there. Uh oh no, Cage ran through it. And he a boot muscled to the face. right through that lariat attempt. Here we go, going for a clothesline of his own. No! Spine Buster! No! Now with the hook of the here. leg. That was an impressive spine buster. Yeah, and Jordan, she tried to get the most of it. She tried to improve that cover after the initial kick out. But she's gotta, she's gotta go back, dig deep, go back to the drawing board here. Try something big to put away Brian Cage. Jordan Grace, the Texas native. I don't even think she's 23 years old yet. Almost, has almost a decade of experience already. That's just insane. And the thing about Brian Cage is that his playbook is so deep. He's got so much varied offense that he can go to. And right now we're getting into these deep waters of the match where, you know, you got to dig deep. And he might have more options than Jordan Grace has He's going to go with that wheelbarrow. Oh, oh, right, right on her yeah. face. That should be it. No. Not 2.99. 2.01 she kicked out. Yeah. And the longer this goes, I, I think it might favor Jordan Grace, quite frankly. I would, I would agree with you. The resiliency really coming into play and the wind coming into play. Absolutely. Just having Brian Cage almost punch himself out here. And now, going for that deadlift suplex, perhaps. But the leverage is not on his side. Oh! oh deadlift brain buster! Deadlift brain buster! Up. That was frightening hot sauce. Yeah, physics be damned. The taller opponent standing over the shorter opponent. Normally you want to get your hips underneath somebody if you want to pick them up. But when you got that kind of power on your side, you just want to get them up as high as you can and drive them into the mat. Exactly what Brian Cage did, but Jordan Grace somehow able to kick out of that one. Jordan Grace going to need this resilience in just five days' time against you for Nova Pro. But right now, the only thing on her mind is getting out of here alive. Oh, yeah, I guarantee you, I'm the furthest thing from on her mind right now. She's oh. in a war. Elbow. There you go. There you go. 
Whoa, Casadora. Oh! Face first, right into the cover. Cover! No! Sliding Lariat! No! Cage up again! It's like I was saying before, he's just physically hard to cover. Even if you hit an effective maneuver like that, you can't stack him up. His body just doesn't stack up like that. You see, she tried to hook the leg, but when you hook the leg, you want to pull their weight over their shoulder. And it, she's unable to do that. And now the frustration factor at play, you can see it all over Jordan's face. She doesn't know what else she can do to put this away. But now, Whoa! tries the fireman's carry, doesn't get it. She got him up, though. Uh-oh. Cage, oh, better look for the Steiner screwdriver there, maybe. She had it! She had it cover! No! Hey, referee Kevin Quinn's forearm coming down, making contact. But he saw the shoulders come up right at the last second. His hand didn't hit the mat. He made the call. I, I agree with the call. It was a late two count. Jordan got the neck of Brian Cage to go straight down into the mat, and yet that wasn't enough. And she had a great pin, too. She dropped him so high that he landed in a great pinning combination, but still unable to get the three count. And now even more desperate than before, going to go to the top rope and try that muscle buster, perhaps. But Cage just caught her. He's got some high underhooks there. Oh, no. Trying to fight it off. Takes an elbow straight to the mouth. And how about three? Oh, Jordan Grace going avalanche. As she's going she's gonna to take a huge risk to try to finish this one off. Oh, boy. Oh, that's, this is not good Cage for Grace. Oh. Power bomb. Shoulders might be down there, but. Muscles Eight. her up. Uh -oh. Into the fireman's carry. F. Five. One, two, three. Got her. And you cannot take anything away from Jordan Grace. Even in a loss, if I were you, Hot Sauce, I would be worried. That was a hell of a show. An unbelievable effort. Brian Cage defeats Jordan Grace in our main event. This is Paul Crockett. Hot Sauce, thank you for joining me. That was a hell of a main event. Tag tournament coming up. 